Ready? Go. So we're going to show everyone how to make a new mold for the ear. You take two of the blue packets, two of the white packets, mix them together until they're a solid color. So the mold is only to be worn at night. If a child is laying down, nap time, you do not want to wear it during the day because it's heavy and it will pull the ear down. So only if the child or patient is sleeping or laying down. So step one, take about a third of the mold. Put it deep into the faux canal or canal. This will help keep it open so it doesn't stenose or narrow. Flatten it across the front of the ear. The rest, you roll like a hot dog. Place it on the back of the ear. It's okay if the entire lobe is not in the mold. The, the lobe is soft, we're not worried about that losing projection. This mold is mostly to protect the ear in case the, the patient sleeps on it, so it will not flatten. So the posterior part of the mold is the most important. Keep packing it in a bit as the mold begins to harden. You have about four minutes to make the mold before it becomes hard. And then just smooth the pieces together. To see if the mold is dry, you can run your nail along it. If it leaves a mark, it's not yet dry. This mold will put a little bit of pressure on the ear to help the swelling go down. And like I said, it'll protect the ear in case they sleep on this side. The mold needs to be worn for four months from surgery. We take off the original from surgery at two weeks postoperatively. So the molds, uh, they have three and a half more months to wear these. You need to make a new mold anytime it becomes loose. It's usually at about two weeks after surgery, three weeks, and one month. And after that, once the family goes home, maybe once a month for two more times. can see that it's getting a little bit harder, a little bit smoother. Again, to see if it's dry, not quite. Perfect. And then just let the mold sit for about two more minutes. <laughs> 